quickly, are you, are you exempt from the testing this week? No, I did the test. You did the test? Yeah. Okay. So yeah, I did like the... disadvantage? Well, I obviously uh, haven't really had time to prepare for it, but I think uh, most of the tests, like the VO2, is kind of you're still in game shape, so mm-hmm. kind of bent from that, but just go out, do my best, and take the results and try and improve on the summer. Did you have the option of not doing it? Or? Uh, no, I never really talked about it. I think I, I was uh, planning on doing it no matter what, so. How did your interview with the weapons go? It was good. Yeah, I had, uh, had lots of good interviews this week, I think. Uh, all the teams is pretty cool to meet the NHL teams and the GMs and stuff and have a conversation with them. Did you go out to dinner? Yep, yeah, I went out uh, Wednesday night with the Red Wings. What kind of opportunity does that present? Yeah, it's uh, great just to kind of get away from the whole interview and with a stressful interview setting, it's kind of more casual. You get to they get to know you as a person away from the rink and away from the interviews and stuff. So it's great to go out and dinner and. and Spend time with them, get to know them more. When you have you to look at the NHL team, I mean, it's a big jump to make, but. Yeah, I think uh, right now I haven't really thought that in depth into it, but uh, my goal this summer is to get my body and add some strength and put some weight to my frame to get my body to a level to go, go into an NHL camp next year and uh, be able to compete versus some men and not look out of place and make a decision hard on the management to send me back to junior. Once the lottery played out in the new pick, where do you kind of look at well, yeah, I think you pay attention a bit after the lottery, but uh, I've been pretty busy playing, just finishing Sunday, so I haven't had that much time to really sit down and think about that too much. And now with the season over and go back home and spend some time with my family and relax, I'll start thinking about more. And obviously very excited to get out to Dallas in June. How was your uh, interview with Chicago? What are your impressions of them? Yeah, they were, they were really great. I had dinner with them last night as well. so. It was great to meet them. Uh, they have a great, uh, obviously a great organization and really great people, so I really enjoyed getting to know them. How many teams did you talk to over lunch? I talked to 12. 12? Yeah. Did any of them ask you to come back for a second visit? Uh, well, uh, sh- Chicago, Detroit, I had dinner with them plus an interview with them. Right. But no one asked you to come like, next week and, and visit? Uh, no. How were the last few days for you? Um, has it been pretty intense? Yeah, they've been pretty busy, I think, but uh, it's it's been a great experience. I think uh, all hockey players want to be in this setting at the NHL Combine, so really just been trying to take it all in and enjoy the whole experience and soak it all up. Did you have a chance to celebrate with your, your teammates after the, the Yeah, it was kind of a quick turnaround. We uh, flew back to Bathurst on Monday, and uh, we were greeted by like 1,500 fans at the airport, so that was pretty cool. And on Tuesday, I got to do the parade. I think it was 5,000 people there. Uh, town of 11,000, so it was really cool and uh, memories that last a lo- lifetime than I was out here on Wednesday. Did you have to change your schedule for this week because of, because of that? Yeah, originally if we would have lost in the finals on Sunday, I would be coming out to Buffalo on Monday, but since we won, I got to go home and spend time with the fans and stuff for the parade and stuff, and then came out on Wednesday. So it meant uh, some pretty packed days? Of- yeah, it kind of did what uh, most guys did throughout the week in a week. It kind of did it in the three days jam schedule. So it's been pretty busy, but I'm enjoying it. How's your break right like now after all that? <laughs> yeah, I finished my last interview today, so it's kind of a relief. But uh, it's been fun. I mean, this is what you dream of as a kid, coming to the NHL combine, meet with the teams, and obviously to be drafted is your dream come true. So it's been fun. Are the 12 teams like the top 12 in order, more or less? Or, or yeah, they've kind of been that teams from picking from 2 to 12, and then there's been a couple teams outside the outside of the top 15. How do you think you could help the team? I think uh, I bring a complete two-way uh, two-way game. I think uh, I'm reliable defensively and as well. I can get up in the play and create offense. So I think uh, a two-way defenseman are pretty uh, valuable for teams. So I think that that's what I bring. How much, how much bigger do you say you need to get for being in the already? Yeah, it's definitely an area of uh, development for myself. I think uh, there's no set number. I think just getting my body to a level where I'm able to compete against the older guys and the men and be able to battle with them in the corner stuff. So it's obviously a big summer and I'm planning on putting some weight on and adding some strength. So come an NHL camp September, I'll be ready. You spend it in PI? Uh, I, I trained in San Diego, California with Chris Munford. So I'll be home a bit. Uh, with my family stuff, but for the majority of the summer, I'll be out there training. You've been doing that for the past years? 
Yeah, the summer before I went out with them for a week just to do some tests and stuff, but this summer being a big summer and stuff, I felt it's best for me to be out there the whole summer with them. You talk a little bit about, you have a, a strange run-up to playing junior. You, you uh, spent one year at Christian's College School, one year in Austria. What was, that, what was the thinking of that? Yeah, uh, personally, me and my family felt that it would be best for me to get off the island for the whole experience and <laughs> develop as a player. And the Bishop's College kind of came as an opportunity, and I got to experience the whole prep school side of things with the harder education and time management and stuff, living on your own. And then obviously the Red Bull kind of happened pretty fast. Brian Savage and Paul Henry kind of contacted my family, and we kind of looked into it. And I ended up going over with my dad and trying to see the facilities and stuff. And, uh, I liked it. I'd stay, and if I didn't, I'd head home. And obviously, the state-of-the-art facilities uh, were just great there. I have lots of memories from my year in Austria, so I'm really gr glad of my decision to go there. Did you have uh, like direct contact with Pierre Pache while you were there? Is that, is that correct? Or? Yeah, he was the director of the academy there, so I, I got to talk to him a bit. He was a he's a great guy for the academy. He knows so much about hockey, so to know a guy like that was really helpful. He wasn't like your direct coach, though, right? He, he didn't no, he was like. Ran the overall kind of the cat yeah the academy. Do you know where Brian saw you play for the first time? No, I'm not sure. Uh, I just remember uh, when I was younger. I think uh, 12 or 13. I played a spring term with Ryan Savage's son, so I kind of knew him a bit from that. And then uh, obviously he contacted me. I'm not sure where he played, where he saw me play. Is there an NHL defenseman you kind of like to model your game after? Yeah, I like to model the game after Alex Petrangelo. I think we can play a similar style. He's a good 2 AD in the league, a puck mover. He's very reliable defensively, and at the same time, he produces offensively, too. Are there any guys that train with you down in San Diego as far as like, junior NHL players, or is it just sort of one on one? Yeah, well, there's some guys that work with the trainer, but I, I usually just work one on one with the trainer. How do you come out of the mask in the Memorial Cup? <laughs> Yeah, I think it's it's definitely a big confidence booster to win the Memorial Cup. I think uh, it's a junior hockey player's dream to be on that stage, and it's obviously memories I'm going to last a lifetime. So I learned a lot from that tournament, just knowing that I'm right there with all the best players across the CHL. And, uh, and for our team side thing, it's pretty special to come from a small, probably the smallest community in the CHL to come on top of junior hockey has been really special. I played on the right side this year. We we only have one right-handed D, but uh, last year I played uh, most of the year on the left side, so I'm comfortable playing both sides. Can you talk about your meeting with the Canadians? Yeah, I had a great. I met with them today. Actually, the you know, the this afternoon it was great. I think uh, all the meetings have been pretty well the same. They just want to get to know you and ask a few questions. But uh, all positive meetings with all the teams I met with. So it's been a good week so far. How much time have you spent in the city in Montreal? Uh, well, I'm pretty familiar with uh, Montreal. I mean, playing Blainville, they're right there in Montreal, and I've been to a few Habs games too before. And obviously, they're the closest market to my hometown, so really familiar with Montreal. Any players on the squad there that you watch, pay attention to? Or... On Montreal? Yeah. Well, I mean, uh, Shea Weber's kind of the all-star defenseman in the NHL, so I think all defensemen kind of keep an eye on him. He's a he's a great role model for any D in the league. He does everything right, so he's kind of a guy you pay attention to. Would it be a, an ideal landing spot, maybe, if it happens for you? Yeah, definitely. I think uh, there's there's no bad spots playing in the NHL. Uh, whoever picks me, I'm going to be very grateful for the opportunity to be drafted there and I'm make the best of it. So either what happens in June in Dallas, I'm going to be very happy. How big was it for you uh, to have a veteran like Olivier Gallipo uh, from uh, the half of the season? Yeah, yeah, it was great. I mean, anytime you bring in a veteran guy, a five-year guy who's won a President's Cup before and has that experience, it, it's great help. He, he's been in those long playoff runs, so come playoff time, he was great for us with all the experience. And even a guy like Adam Hall, another five-year, 20-year-old D, D veteran to kind of learn from. I'm still in my second year in the league, so always looking to learn new things, and those were two great guys to learn from. I'd say my strengths would be my skating and my hockey IQ, making a good first pass. Yeah, it's it's hard to say. Uh, I mean, the teams watch you all year, but I think uh, on a big stage like the Mem Cup, there's obviously lots of eyes on you, and it's a chance to showcase your, yourself. And I, I feel like my performance at Mem Cup could help me for sure. But at the same time, they, they take a picture of your whole season and kind of go off that. But it definitely could help me for sure.